Welcome to the uh, Pioneer Stand here at Music Messa in Frankfurt. Uh, along with the DJM 2000, we're also launching our new CDJ 350 and DJM 350. So, starting with the CDJ 350, it's our uh, our latest uh, mid to entry level multimedia player. Um, although it's called CDJ, it's actually uh, a multi uh, format controller. Um, you can see from the buttons along here, you can play back from a USB device, uh, good old fashioned disc um, and it's also a MIDI controller as well um, it is our entry-level player that's that's Recordbox compatible Recordbox being our new software that we launched with the CDJ 900 and 2000 uh, a music management system for DJs uh, a bit like an iTunes for DJs so this is our our most cost-effective player that will work with Recordbox um, really easy to use uh, we've got the USB key in there um, and just like the CDJ 900 and the CDJ 2000, you can search through this quite easily. So we're on USB, uh, you can search by album, genre, playlist, um, you can record the history of the tracks that you're actually playing. Um, if you hit search, you can then search through by alphabet. Again, really easy to use, a really easy way of making sense of, uh, of mass storage devices. Um, so some added new tricks that we've got in here. If you look at the BPM counter, uh, the BPM counter now gives you 0.10 of a BPM increment. So as I move the pitch fader, you can see that there we've got 124.3, 125.8. So it's got real accurate BPM uh, count on there. Now the advantage of that is that it makes beat match mixing uh, virtually impossible to get wrong. So for example, I can set the track here to 125.8. I then go across to the other player. Okay, and set, set this one also to 125.8. And you've virtually got the, uh, the BPMs matched, so there's very little pitch bending that you need to do. Now, you can take it one step further than that if you want. It's coming back over to this player. If I hold the BPM lock button down, it then allows me to set a master BPM. So I then use the rotary pot to select the BPM I want. So for example, 127.6, hit enter, and then it doesn't matter what track I put in there, it will always play 127.6 BPM. Uh, I can then do exactly the same to the, to the other player. So every track that I play in either player is gonna be at that set BPM. Um, we then take that another step further, so another way of making beat, beat match mixing really easy is to use the, go into info, and what you're seeing here is basically a bar of music. So if I hit play, you can see that that's travelling along going one, two, three, four. So that is giving you a visual indication of the actual bar of the track. So not only can you match the BPMs, you can introduce your mix at exactly the right time. So you'd need to start it when the arrow is at the far left of the screen, rather than starting it in the middle of the bar. So not only your BPMs matched, uh, your bars are as well. Um, it's also got the, uh, the feature auto beat loop, much like the CDJ400. So you simply press that button, it will make a perfect four beat loop. You can then divide that loop so it gives you uh, triplets, uh, quadruple beats, uh, right up to infinity, just like you could on the uh, CDJ400, which is one of the favorite features that the consumers had. So we thought we'd keep that on there. Um, it's very, very well built. It's uh, very well put together. The jog wheel feels very sturdy. It's got a much better dampening in it than previous players uh, around about this price point. The, the wheel feels heavier, so when you're pitch bending, it feels much more like you're using a CDJ900 or a 2000. Okay, coming on to the mixer, the DJM350. Um, We've done away with the BPM effects uh, on the mixer and instead we've introduced what we call colour effects, much like you'd find on the DJM 800. Uh, these are manually controlled effects as opposed to BPM effects. So if you select crush, you just manually manipulate the crush. Same with filter, 
you can be as fast or as slow as you want. It doesn't have to be set to a BPM parameter. But the real unique feature about the DJM350 is the record function. Now, you can simply pop a USB stick into that port there. When you start your mix, you hit record and you start to record your mix. Every time you introduce a new track to your mix, you just hit the track mark button and it will log that as a new track. So you can have track markers really easily input into your mix recording. Um, when you finish recording, you simply hit uh, stop record, take the USB key out. When you put it into your laptop, and you view the contents of that USB key, you'll see a folder that says DJM. You go into that folder and it will give you Rec 1, Rec 2, Rec 3, Rec 4, which are basically the tracks that you've input via the track marker. Um, and it will record high quality WAV files. Now, the other benefit of that feature, of course, is that you can plug it into, uh, you can put your Technics turntable into the mixer and you can really easily digitize your vinyl. So put your 12 inch single onto your, onto your turntable, it will record directly onto your USB device and convert that into a WAV file. So again, high quality audio. Um, and that's it. Simplicity um, goes on sale in June. Uh, the, it will go on sale at £529, including VAT for the CD player, and £439, including VAT for the mixer. And that's it. Thank you very much.